be the name of the Lord. Uh, this is this is Reverend Robert Gatia, uh, the senior pastor of Deliverance Church Mikidani, and we are here again. This is Reverend Rachel Gatia, all the way from Mombasa, Kenya, the city, uh, the coastal city of Kenya. And I want you to know, we are here again. Yeah. We are here for discussion. We have put a title that is so interesting. Yes. We are talking about 10, uh, 10, uh, uh, 10 qualities of a husband that um, a good husband uh, will, will never, will never be or portray, yeah. or, or qualities that, are, that will never find in, in a good husband. Um, in other words, I want you to know the good husband, what qualities he doesn't have, the qualities that he doesn't have. The qualities that he, he, he has, we will talk, we'll talk about them in another day, mm -hmm. and God will bless us. We'll also, we'll also continue this way. On Sunday, we, were together, we are together. We want to deal with this issue of marriage. We want to open up together with you. Yeah. We'll be speaking some very interesting, some very uh, interesting fact mm -hmm. and truth that can help us. Mm -hmm. Maybe I want to welcome her to say hi, yeah. and uh, we keep going. <laughs> Glory to God. This is a great day. We thank God for his goodness and his mercy. We also thank God for husbands. I have a good husband. Marriage can be great. They can be good husbands, blessed husbands, and given husbands. Today, we are talking about weaknesses, strong weaknesses that are affecting marriages today in men. And as I told you, I've been telling you, and I've been sharing, we're using a book by Dr. Oluk Oya, and it's a powerful book on spouses. And now I'd like hand, hand it back to my husband. Yes, thank you so very much. But before that, I want us to open with a word of prayer. Then we get some time to worship God. We are, uh, we are uh, number one, we are, we are a spiritual. We are a spiritual. And that spirituality calls us first to pray so that God can prepare us. I welcome you wherever you are. I want you to invite your friend. I want you to like this page. Share it all over, all over. Share it with somebody somewhere. Let people hear as we talk to you, uh, together with you. And make sure you contribute by texting us, ask us questions, and you can get in touch with us. I thank God for somebody who called me all the way from Kitare. Yeah. Another one called me all the way from Eldoret. Another one called me all the way from Bugoma. And another one called me all the way from the U.S. Wow. A priest called Florida. He called me all the way from Florida. The saying, Pastor, uh, I think you are going. You are, you are, you are touching the right now. Yes, it's something that uh, you, we need to get some more scriptures and some more, uh, some more time yeah. to discuss and talk. Yeah. Time, don't time, time, time is not on our side. But we, we, we know there is such amount of information you can carry at a certain time yeah. that is important for you. Therefore, I want to open up with a word of prayer, then get to our praise and worship team to give us our worship, our, our worship song. And in, in some few minutes, we hit the, 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 the nail on his head yes. in the name of the Lord. Our Father and our God, thank you, we want to thank you for a beautiful day mm. that you have granted us. You have thank given you. us even favor. And yes. daily masses to the place where we visited today. Yes. We want to thank you for your divine visitation. Yes. How we pray today, as we go to share your your word with your people, mm -hmm. may you may you minister through us. Yes. And Lord, may you bless the people that are listening to yes. us. Yes. And tonight, let it be a night of a difference. Yes. I want to thank you for many men and women across the world yes. as they listen to us. Yes. Lord, use us as your vessel. We submit ourselves to the power of the Holy Spirit yes. and we ask your heart to be upon our, yes. our lives. Yes. Thank you for your love and favor. Yes. Receive the glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. Yes. Help me, uh, help me welcome our praise and worship team all the way from DC Mikidani, Deliverance Church in um, International Mikidani, the church of choice. Yes. This guy, they shall bless us with a song. Hey.
blessed be the name of the Lord. Once again we are here. Now we hit the road. Yes. We want to talk about we want to talk about this ten qualities that a genuine husband is never is never finding a genuine husband. Yes. A genuine husband in this world. Yes. I know I want to I want I want to begin by saying that if there is no perfect marriage and there is no perfect husband and there is no perfect wife. But all this we need to but that there is also the imperfection has degrees. Some people are too much on the on the negative side. Yes. And we need to look at this. Yes. Because marriage is sometimes before you are married, yes. you're always looking forward to get married. Yes. So that you can have some time to spend with your wife, yes. and your lover, you, you, you want to get children, yes. you, you want to go and settle, yes. you're tired of, of many things, and you want to you're you saying, I just want to look at one for one person. I can stay with and I can spend the rest of my life yes. and have a vision. In the future, yes. I told you we are not here as as as, um, as, a, as, as just the expert. Mm -hmm. We are here as also students of marriage. Yes. We are still learning because I told you when we got an, when, when we got an officiated in a wedding, mm -hmm. you were given a certificate and told us you have already begun the school, but you have given you certificate to make to tell you it must work out. Yes. You must graduate successfully. Yes. So we we are here today, and that is why we are in the book of First Peter. First Peter chapter 3 verse 17. First Peter chapter 3 verse 17. What does the Bible say? First Peter chapter 3 verse 17. The Bible says it is better yes. if it is God's will. First Peter 3 7. Well, first Peter 3 7. Oh, yes. I went to 17 centuries. First Peter 3 7. This is what the Bible says. Yes. Husband, yes. in the same way, yes. be considerate yes. as you live with your wives. Yes. Hey! Oh, yes, thank you. And treat them with respect yes. as the weaker partner yeah. and as heirs with you yeah. of the gracious gift of life. Yes. So that nothing. We will hear your prayers. Hallelujah. I must repeat this verse. KJV, let's go to KJV. I must it's repeat powerful, this verse. Powerful, powerful. Oh, if you are listening to me and you are not married, sure. if you are listening to me and you are married, mm -hmm. this is the verse. Yes. If you read this again, yes. I am telling you something will change. <laughs> Let me read it. I'm, I'm already changing. Yes. As I'm reading it again. Yeah. This is what the Bible says from uh, King James Version. Yeah. Likewise, yeah. you husband dwell with them. Hey, according to knowledge, hey. giving honor unto the wife, yes, as unto the weaker vessel, yes, and as a, as being heirs yes. together of the grace of, of life, life. That, and that your prayers may not be hidden. be not hidden. Mm. Imagine mm. the way you deal with your wife, yeah, can stop God listening to you, yeah. You, you can even go to Catalonia, yeah. but God will not listen to you. <laughs> you can go to Heaven's Gate. Yeah. yeah, you can even say, the next three days, I'm praying and fasting. Yes. I will not even swallow my saliva. Yes. I want to be very serious with God. Yes. I can tell you for sure, you need to deal with them with care. Yes. Respect your wife. Yes. It is, it, it is, it is, you need a grace yes. to do that. Yes. And I am talking, you know what I am talking about. Yes. Those who are married, you can listen to me and you can agree with me mm -hmm. that you really need grace. Yes. Uh, for you to be able to literally respect your wife yes. so that God can connect with you. Yes. And yes. so that when you yes. go before God to worship and to pray, and every time you, have not, you are not in good terms with your wife, yes. things become so difficult. Yes. Your day becomes so long. Then every, you feel so, you, you feel you are carrying a weight that is not necessary. Mm -hmm. I have come here so that we can share with you, mm -hmm. that we can put this weight down. Yes. All this bitterness and all these things that can even cause you to get lifestyle diseases like heart attack, mm -hmm. like, um, what is it, what is it? Mm -hmm. yeah, my, 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 my brain headache, ulcers, ulcers yes. high blood pressure. Yes. Not because of anything, yeah. just because you are not able to live with a gift of from God yeah. in the name of a wife. Mm. Or in the, today we are discussing about husband. Yes. Our wives we are coming, we are coming to you on Sunday. Yeah. Sunday first service and second service. Yes. And that service will speak to you in Kiswahili. Yes. And you will be blessed. Listen to us as yeah. we continue. I don't know if you want to say something before you continue. Oh yes. You can, say, you can some some introduction. Okay. okay. I just wanted to say that the fact that someone is called husband or wife does not mean that that person is able to play the role of a family head mm -hmm. or a companion. Yes. Just because you have the title, yeah. husband or wife, doesn't mean you can play the role. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Remember, today we are going to discuss deeply for those who want to get married mm -hmm. and those who are already married, mm -hmm. we want to go into ourselves. And remember, as we go in this discussion, if you're already married, we can get into prayer and correct our error and ask for God's grace as we move ahead. Yes. It requires proper qualifications. Mm -hmm. A wrong partner can turn a family upside That's down. Right. Two wrong partners are worse. Hey! One wrong partner yeah. can turn the marriage upside down. Yes. Two wrong partners. It is, it, it, it is, it, that, that is a disaster. It's a disaster in a waiting. So there was mm -hmm. a marriage between uh, Ahab, King Ahab, and, King Ahab. And, and Jezebel. And Jezebel. One partner called Jezebel mm -hmm. turned that marriage upside, upside down, down. Yes. until she destroyed it. Mm -hmm. Then there was a marriage against two uh, Ananias and Sapphira. <laughs> two. Two wrong persons. Two wrong persons. Ananias and Sapphira. That were struck dead. They died. On the altar after they came and lied to the Holy Spirit. Both of them were liars. So a wrong partner can turn it upside down, but two wrong partners. They can bring disaster. Amen. And we are praying for you right now in the name of Jesus. Well, Even as you are hearing this message, it's mm -hmm. not condemnation, but it's restoration. It is restoration. We are yeah. not here to discuss your weakness. Yeah. We, are, we are here to look at areas of growth. Yes. In fact, I want you to look at your husband if you are together, yeah. or you look at your spouse. And I thank God Corona has put us together this time. <laughs> Nobody is traveling. You are, you are somewhere as, as, you are, as you are talking. And, and, I want you to, and I want you to understand that we are here. We don't call this the area of weakness. Yeah. We are calling them the area of growth. Yeah. That is an area of growth. That, that area, if you grow, yeah. then you are good. Yeah, yeah. That not to baptize is the area of weakness. It's not that we are weakness. Yeah. It's a place that God wants you to grow in that. Yeah. And when you talk about it, don't be irritated. And don't hate us. Yeah. We love you. Yes. We are here because we love you. And we have prayed for you. In yeah. fact, we are here after prayers. Yeah. We have told God, help us to speak and communicate your purpose. Yes. We have no personal, we have no personal agenda. agenda against you or anything. We are here to advance the kingdom of God. Because we have discovered that a good marriage is, is the most important uh, tool for advancement of the kingdom of God. If the marriage is working, yeah. the church will work. Yeah. The society will work. Yeah. The leadership, the, the nation will work, yeah. and that is very important. And that is why the devil is every every day fighting the marriages. But God is looking for men and women that can work out on the area of marriage, and then then they can be able to move forward. And wonder, according to the Bible, yeah. marriage is meant for companionship. Yes. There are there are things that are very key in marriage, yeah. and we have been taught this many years, and uh, and many times those people we have taken through uh, courtship in marriage. Yes. Marriage is for companionship procreation and to fulfill the agenda of God for your life. Yes. That is that, that those are the those are those are the key foundational or core uh, purpose for marriage. Yes. And and I, and I want you to and I want you to know I want you to know that um uh, two kind I, I want us to talk about um, that there are godly spouses mm -hmm. and there are there are ungodly spouses mm -hmm. which are long spouses. There is a godly spouse and there is a, an ungodly spouse. Somebody who doesn't regard God, somebody who doesn't, uh, you do things with your, with your, by force, mm -hmm. and, and you want to use your own intelligence, you want to use your own tradition, your belief system, and so on. You want to define marriage in your own way, uh, uh, the way that the Bible doesn't define it, and, and that becomes a problem. We want to talk about uh, an analysis of 10 types of husband, mm -hmm. just 10 types of wrong husband. Maybe we can say wrong husband. Mm -hmm. There's a 10, 10 types of wrong husband or 10 qualities. Of, of, of husband that I pray that God will not give you to those husband. May not may God not give you the ten type of husband that we are about to, to discuss today. Mm -hmm. If you're there, you are praying, I want you to write this ten type and then you can be able to look at some of them, we look at some scriptures, some of them we don't look at the scriptures, mm -hmm. but we'll just discuss them and God will help us in the interest of time. And uh, number one, number one type, number one type is wicked, they are called wicked husband. Don't, may, may God not give you a wicked husband. Mm -hmm. A wicked husband is a, a wicked husband has the following qualities. Number one, he is arrogant. Mm -hmm. Number two, he is unbending, mm -hmm. unbending, unbending. One day, one day, our bishop, Doctor uh, J. B. Masinde, was teaching uh, was teaching us in a marriage seminar, and I'll never forget this. And he says, some men are so uh, are, are so difficult to bend. Uh, uh, and he said, 
in Swahili wamemeza taribu mtu amemeza taribu hawezi kuinama kwa sababu taribu you cannot bend a taribu yeah. uh, and you cannot bend a taribu wale wamemeza wale wanaume wabao wako wamemeza taribu yeah. Mungu atatusaidia mm-hmm. kama uko pale na umemeza taribu hawezi mm-hmm. hakuna mtu anaweza kukubend nobody can bend you so, now, i've told you a, a wicked husband the, 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 the description of a wicked husband is an arrogant husband yeah. is an unbending husband yes. is a hard husband yes. is a tough husband yes. is an undivi- an undivisible husband yeah. nobody can advise him yes. he doesn't have he cannot be advised by his parent yeah. he cannot be advised by his pastor yeah. he cannot be advised by the government of kenya yeah. he cannot even read anything in the newspaper or yeah. listen to the radio or tv and be advised yeah. he is his own adv- he advise himself what he think is right is what he does yes. and he doesn't sit under any authority yes. he is the authority himself yeah, and, and he doesn't regard any person yes. he ignore people and he's arrogant and he's proud and uh, arrogant and he's unyielding yes. and, 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 and he is a wife beater yes he's a wife beater yeah. beating beating your wife it, yeah. it doesn't it doesn't look very good uh, I don't think it is godly for a, a wicked husband to fight, to, to fight his, his wife. Yeah. I don't know whether you are born again or not born again, but yeah. if you fight your wife, if you beat your wife, the Bible doesn't call you a good husband. Yeah. The Bible doesn't call you a good husband. Yes. And that's why we say number one is a wicked husband. Yeah. A wicked husband is not a quality that should a genuine, a genuine husband should carry. Yeah. You should not have a, you should not have those characters, those characteristics of those behaviors that we have discussed here today yeah. but uh, and he has no he has no fear uh, that arrogant that, that wicked husband has no fear yeah. or honor, honor for, for anybody. anybody he cannot he doesn't honor he doesn't uh, honor he doesn't honor you yeah especially when you mention church yeah it's like this person is full of demons oh and he say i don't want to see those people those churches yes i don't want to see this those pastors yes even one, one person always wanted to tell us that yeah. if this pastor they don't have something to do yeah we, we, we are already doing something. Yeah. We are pastors. Why, why, why do you ask somebody whether he doesn't have something to do? We are pastoring. We are saving young people and, and old men. We are teaching the word of life. Yes. That is what God has called us to do. Mm-hmm. And that is what we do. And that's what God has called us to do. Yes. I want you to know some people, they dishonor, disregard, and fight. Yeah. They, 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 they are... They, I pray God will give you the wisdom. So, yeah. number one is a wicked husband. Let me give you a nice Bible mm-hmm. example. You can, you can give a nice example. Let's open the Bible to 1 Samuel chapter 25 and verse 3. We better, better read that scripture. Yeah. Oh, let us listen to this. So, I like the way you have just said that if you want to go to church. Mm-hmm. Now, this was David. Mm-hmm. The time yeah. of David. Mm-hmm. David was traveling in the time of the war that mm-hmm. David was going through. Yes. And there was a very rich man. In that area. In that area. Mm-hmm. And this is a situation where your wife is like you're saying, mm-hmm. can ask you if can I go to church? Can I go to Can I go where God is? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And in verse uh, 25, verse 3, this is how they describe now. Yeah. First Samuel 25, yeah, verse, verse 3. 3. The Bible say, Now the name of the man was Nabo, and the name of his wife was Abigail. Yeah. And she was a woman of good understanding. understanding. I need that verse. I need that, uh, underline that, a woman of good understanding. We repeat the, this statement on Sunday. Keep it at the back of your mind and on your notebook. Let's continue. And of a beautiful countenance, underline that again. And of a beautiful countenance. Amen. Good, good and beautiful to behold. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I'm beholding mine. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, good and beautiful to behold. Yeah. But... But hey. Hey. the man was childish and evil in his doings, and he was of the house of Caleb. Let's check an ID now. Let's check Let's an go ID. to a simple language. Hey. We want to discuss the man only now. Let's go. <laughs> the Bible says he his name was Nabo, his wife's name was Abigail. She was an intelligent and beautiful woman. Woman of God, wherever you are, listen to me and listen to me very well. May you be Intelligence come with beauty. <laughs> Intelligence come with beauty. Yeah, I'm telling you, but that on Sunday we are coming. On Sunday we are coming, but let's continue here. Yeah. I want you to go to the word but changes the up whatever yeah. we have had. Say, but her husband, a carabite. Yeah. <laughs> if there is a carabite husband around, yeah. may God deliver you. Yes. Was sorry. Yes. 
I mean in his dealing. He was I mean, mean, look for a simple language. This, this is still some vocabulary. Yeah. I, I want a language that you can just swallow and understand. <laughs> the man name was Nabo, fool. Yeah. Hey, the man, uh, the man name was Nabo, fool, a Calebite, and his name and his wife name was Abigail. The woman was intelligent and good looking. The man, brutish and, and mean. They already done NIV, isn't it? Yeah. Do you have any other, any other simple? Yes. Ah, this one, this one, this is it. We have come. Yeah. We have come. <laughs> <laughs> we have come. This is what I was looking for. Yeah. We are there. Yeah. Listen to me now. <laughs> there was a man of the clan of Caleb named Nabo, who was from the town of Maon. Uh, who owned, uh, uh, la owned land near the town of Camo. He was very rich, the owner of 3,000 sheep and 1,000 goat. His wife, Abigail, was beautiful and intelligent, but he was mean, bad-tempered man. Nabo was shearing his sheep in Camo. Last one is NLT. NLT. Yeah. NLT. NLT. Do you have NLT? Yeah. Wow. It is here. Yes, this is it. This man's name was Nabo, yeah. and his wife, Abigail, yeah. was sensible yeah. and beautiful woman. Yeah. But Nabo, a descendant of Caleb, was crude and mean in all his dealings. That is the we can continue. Yeah, he is tough and advisable and yielding and proud. And that was somebody in the Bible. That's a wicked husband. That's a wicked husband. And I'm a praying for husband. you in the name of Jesus. Crude. If the spirit of Nabal is upon you, we are breaking it today. I break the spirit of Nabal in the man that you married or the man you want to marry in Jesus' name. Oh, May you, uh, uh, or the man you are, if you are a man and you are listening to me, and as I read this, as I read this verse, yes. you can take some of them, this, these qualities, you can take some of them. Yes. May the Lord God help us yeah. that we come out of those, uh, those qualities in Jesus' name. Amen. Number two, yes. they are called Mini husband. Yes. Mini, you can read for us. Oh, mini. You need, you need to read for us. Okay. Please. Read for us, please. This kind of husband lives in a separate room. Uh -huh. That's bachelor, sorry. This kind of man performs excellently in bed. Yes. Or on the dining table in terms of conversation. And eating. But he cannot do anything else at it. <laughs> <laughs> he cannot do anything else. He can only perform in the bedroom. And, and perform on the table eating, exactly. Exactly, that is it. <laughs> they are not responsible for family upkeep. Yes. Some are too lazy to work, mm -hmm. and others even spend money on strange women outside. May God deliver you. Yes. Look at this. Yes. And listen to me very well. Yes. Laziness is a big problem. Yeah. Many men yes. have turned to be irresponsible. irresponsible. Yeah. They cannot pay house rent. Yes. They cannot come home with food. Yeah. They cannot. They cannot. They cannot. They can. They, they don't provide. They don't provide. Imagine. They don't provide. They are lazy. They don't work. Even spend their money. You don't know where their money goes. You don't. Nobody know where their money goes. And this is a mini husband. Excellent. They are told that they are good in bed and good at the table. Yeah. And they are mini. They are not. In fact, mini is a mean. It is. It is not full. Yeah. They are not really fully husband. Mm -hmm. They still have something to work on. Yes. For them to become the husband that God uh, intended. Yeah. Or the role of a husband. And we have been told the title husband doesn't mean you are playing the role of a husband. Mm -hmm. And that is what we need to we, to, we are trying to unravel and try to bring it to you so that you can be able to get into the right direction. I want us to go to number three. Oh, let me just so tell you something. something. You are going to say something. About Remember Samson. Something. Okay, mm -hmm. just go to tell you the examples in the Bible. Yeah. And Samson was big, he was built well, mm -hmm. he could fight well, mm -hmm. he was a great warrior, mm -hmm. but he was not a good husband. Yes. Yeah, he was a mini husband. He was a mini, yeah. Yeah. In that husband. department of husband, he was not. He was a mini husband. But he was a man. Yeah, and Samson actually, do you know, he had three women in his life. Mm -hmm. The first woman was called Timna, mm -hmm. whom he married. The second one 
was a prostitute called Gaza. Mm -hmm. And the third wife that is mentioned a lot is Delilah. Mm -hmm. That is the man we're talking about. He functions well only in the bedroom and eating, but he could not keep his family. Eventually, mm -hmm. the last woman killed him. I think we can go on, yeah. Wow, we are praying for the mini husband. That, that, that's, a good, that's, a good, that's a good contribution. Oh, thank you. Wow, 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 wow. May you not be a mini husband in the name of Jesus. Amen. There's a spirit that was following Samson. Mm -hmm. We are praying he does not follow you in the department of marriage and husbandhood in the name of Jesus. And number three yeah. is bachelor husband. Mm -hmm. Bachelor husband. Yeah. This kind of husband lives in a separate room. Mm -hmm. He called his friend and talked for several hours, yes. but cannot speak to his wife. Yes. He cannot speak to his wife. Yeah. He still lives with, with a bachelor mentality, yes. even though he is married. Yes. He's called bachelor husband. Yes. He doesn't have stories to share with his loved one, yeah. his, uh, with, his, with, his, uh, with his beloved. Yes, mm. yes, yes. He, can, he doesn't have stories. When he comes, it's just like um, instruction. But it is, it is not a communication. Yeah. It is not a fellowship. And, and they are called Bashar husband. Yeah. They are not, not at home. Yes. They don't spend time with the children. Yeah. They don't spend time with their wife. Yes. They, feel, they feel uncomfortable in the presence of their wife. Yeah. They are more comfortable with the friends yes. than, than with, the, with the wife. Yes. You, they are more comfortable elsewhere. Not at the, uh, not not in the presence of the wife. Yeah. I'm not I'm not saying you you live in, at home and, and stay there. Yeah. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that, uh, that feeling, that comfort, yeah. that that freedom that you can be able to talk and discuss things yeah. about marriage. Because this person, you are going to stay with her the rest of your life. Yeah. As a husband, you are going to stay with your life with your wife yes. as long as you live. Yes. And and I want you to know you need to spend more time with her yeah. and you need to talk more with her yes. and you need to and you need to understand things together. Yes. Because you are going in the same direction for a long time. Yes. And all you, I need you, don't be a bachelor husband. Yes. A bachelor husband, you are married, is, and it's as if you are not married. Yes. You, you don't spend time. And yet, and yet, before you got married, yeah. we used to tell you, uh, we used to tell you, leave, don't work with these girls. Yeah. Don't work with these girls. Yeah. Now, when you, 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 you get one yeah. and, and marry her, yeah. and you go home with her, yeah. you want to leave her, and now you go to live with men. Yeah. To, to just walk with men and talk with them. Yeah. You don't have time for your home. Yeah. Those are called bachelor husband. I pray yeah. that we are not a bachelor husband. Amen. I pray for every man listening to me. Yeah. I declare that you are not a bachelor husband. Yeah. You shall become a husband who... And imagine, uh, imagine a husband sleeping in a separate room. We live and cleave. Mm -hmm. You have to be a husband who will live and cleave. And they be joined together. Yeah, that, yes. And a man shall live. Yeah. And in, 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 I want to give you another example. Let's tell yeah. them about the ones in the Bible. Mm. And this one, it ended quickly. It was in Esther chapter 1, mm -hmm. and uh, verse 9, mm -hmm. verse 10, mm -hmm. 11, and 12. Wow. We are talking about Queen Vashti. I don't know if you know Queen Vashti. It starts by telling us in verse 9, imagine. Mm. Queen Vashti gave a banquet mm. for the women in the royal, in the royal, royal palace of King, of King Zaz. So she had a banquet happening. Mm. Her husband had another banquet happening. Mm. Yes. In her quarters, she threw a banquet. A for the, yes. Mm. And her husband had been having a party for 180 days. Yes. So, so now on, in verse 10, it says, on the seventh day, mm -hmm. when King Zarsas was in high spirits, mm. yes, from wine, he commanded the seven eunuchs who served him, may woman, their names, Bisha, Habana, Bigda, Abada, Seda, and Casas. Uh, mm -hmm. To bring before him Queen Vashti, mm -hmm. wearing her royal crown, mm -hmm. in order to display her beauty mm -hmm. to the people and nobles, mm -hmm. for she looked beautiful to look at. To look at. But when the attendants delivered, mm -hmm. you can send a message to me through the servant, surely. Because okay. they're saying he sent a message mm -hmm. through the servants. Mm -hmm. So they're in separate quarters. Mm -hmm. Am I? It is a state house. Yeah. It is a palace. It is a palace. It's, it's separate quarters. Yeah. yeah. So, and when the attendants ah, delivered, Queen Vashti refused to come. Then the king became furious. Mm -hmm. So, this is a, is a situation where these two were living in separate quarters. Mm -hmm. She had a bachelor husband mm -hmm. having a party. Having a party. Without his wife. Yes. For many days. Yes. Having not discussed with his wife before mm -hmm. what the plans are. Mm -hmm. Then, suddenly, mm -hmm. surprising her. Mm -hmm. 
and sending the servants to tell her, come mm -hmm. and display yourself before the king. So this is common mm. in a bachelor husband. Yes. They want the wife to fit in a certain category mm -hmm. or do certain things to please them. Yes. And they have not talked to them. They have not discussed with them. Yeah. And this marriage ended up in divorce. It ended up in divorce. We pray for that bachelor husband. It shall not happen. You shall not divorce. In the name of Jesus. After today, mm -hmm. surely you will talk to your wife. Uh, we have said how many husband now? Three. Number one, we said. <laughs> number one is. Number one, we said you can you can remember what we said. Number one. Wicked husband. Number two, we said. Mini husband. Number three, we have said. Bachelor husband. And number four, ascetic husband. Yes. They are like acid. <laughs> yeah. He ran the house like a military barrack. Yes. You, you may think you are in a military in a, in a military camp. Yeah. Where there are ranks yes. and command. Yes. Instruction. Yes. It's like he is like the 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 person in charge of discipline in the camp. Yes. It's called RSM. Yes. Regimental Sergeant Major. Yes. Somebody who discipline anyone who make mistakes. Yes. And he learned that she, uh, the man learned the house. He neither loves no joke with anyone. Yeah. This is a this is a, an ascetic husband. Yes. He cannot cope with errors either. Yes. You cannot do error. Yes. There is no room for error in that marriage. Yes. If the wife make an error, he will shout. Yes. Like he's giving a command. Yeah. He lives like an army major. Um, oh, the, the one I have told you, RSM is called RS, uh, sergeant, uh, regimental sergeant major, and he behaves. Like he is in a war front. Yes. A marriage is like a war front. Any time there is explosion, uh, uh, and you live in that house uh, as a wife, you live at the corner of the house yes. because the man can throw uh, uh, the man can throw a green a grenade yes. uh, and it will explode. His words are like grenade. They can they can destroy. They can tear. Yeah. They can destroy. I want you to know, marriage is not a military camp. Yeah. Marriage is an institution of love. Yes. Marriage is an is an atmosphere of peace. Yes. And, and acceptance. Yes. And joy. Yes. I don't know. I don't know if there's something you want to say before yes. we continue. Maybe maybe yeah. Yeah, okay. It's in First Corinthians chapter seven. Yeah. From verse C it says the husband should fulfill his marital duty mm -hmm. to his wife. Yes. And likewise the wife to her husband. Yes. Isn't it? That is true. Yeah. So the the, the wife does not have authority over. Likewise, the husband mm -hmm. do not deprive one another mm -hmm. except by mutual consent mm -hmm. and for a time. Mm -hmm. So you may devote mm -hmm. yourselves to prayer mm -hmm. and to each other. Amen. Yeah, so in, in that particular context mm -hmm. of the military husband, mm -hmm. it is not according to the Bible. A Siddiq husband. A Siddiq, yeah. <laughs> Who is like a military commander. Yeah. And then he runs the marriage like a military barrack. Yeah, he mm -hmm. runs the marriage like a military barrack. Mm -hmm. And I think it is a lot in Africa. A lot in Africa. Maybe. And, and may, may God will deliver us yeah. in, in Africa. Yeah. Where they are command. And yeah. sometimes you make the wife so literal. Yeah. The wife feels so the wife feels so literal. Yes. And so despised. Yes. Even when you have visitors, she doesn't know what to say yeah. and how to talk. Yes. Because she just keep quiet. You go to a place and you be there, says for a three hours the wife has not spoken anything. Yeah. Because she is in a military camp. Yeah. She cannot talk until instructed. Yeah. I don't think that is marriage. I don't think so. It is, that is not marriage. Yeah. Uh, that is not and even marriage. when, when, when in the traditional Africa, yeah. when the husband comes, everyone scatters. Everyone scatters. The children yeah. go under the bed, others they go out, yeah. others they go to neighbors, and yeah. that is it. Until the husband eats, yeah. then he sleeps, then the children are told the lion has slept. Yeah. <laughs> the lion is not allowed, it cannot lower, it cannot lower anymore. I, I am I'm asking God, I'm asking God to help you, those who want to get married. Yeah. It is very important for you to understand the kind of a husband you are getting married. Yeah. And I want you to know, don't look at the, the money of that person. Yeah. Don't look at what ma what material thing he has. Yes. And don't look at don't look at his his height and weight and all those things. Yeah. They may be important for you. But I can guarantee you, yeah. if you marry an acidic husband, yes. somebody who, has, who can explode, somebody who is corrosive, yeah. somebody who can belittle you, yeah. I tell you with all your beauty and with all your figures and everything, yeah. you become a slave. Yeah. And you become a slave. Yeah. Because some people carry a, a kind of a quality of mercilessness. They don't have mercy. Mm. They, they don't care. They don't care. Yeah. And they, they, they tell you, I married you. Yeah. I have done too much for you. Yeah. Uh, and they count what they have done. Yeah. They don't count 
or how much the other one have done. Yeah. Because marriage is not you have done so much for you yeah. for me. Marriage is that we have done together for one another. Yeah. We are together. We are working together. If the husband is the head, yeah. but you are not a military commander, and marriage is not a military barrack. Marriage is an institution of love, mm -hmm. and it's an institution of honor, uh, and dignity, and value, yeah. and, and, and embracing one another. Yeah. To the glory of God. Amen. To the glory of God. So, therefore, we go to number five. Let's yeah. go to number five. Mm -hmm. This is slave master husband. Yeah. Slave master husband. Number five type of, of husband. Yeah. Quality that that, type, uh, that that a genuine man doesn't portray. Yeah. If you're a genuine husband and you're a good person, we yeah. said, number one, we began very well and we said, my Ma marriage are not perfect. Yeah. No, 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 there is no one marriage that is perfect. Yeah. But there are good marriages. Yeah. There are good marriages. Yeah. There are marriages you can enjoy. There are marriages you can admire. Yeah. There are marriages you wish my marriage was like this. Yes. I don't want you to know. Yeah. A slave must be husband. Yes. This is the man that believes the woman is the housemaid. Yeah. This is the man that believes the woman is the housemaid. If you believe that the woman is a housemaid, yeah. that is a slave master, master husband. husband. Yes. If you believe the woman is baby is a baby making machine. The woman is a baby making machine. It's like an incubator. Yeah. Just causing the chick to come out, come out, come out. Yeah. The woman is not a baby making machine. She's not. You are not, you are not a baby making thank machine. Thank you, babe. You are a woman of God. Yeah. There is a beauty in oh, you. Thank you. There is a dignity in thank you. you. There is a value that is in you. Wow. You are a treasure from God. I can tell you for sure. <laughs> and, and, and people just see a woman like a baby making machine yeah. or a factory for work. Yeah. The woman is, and, and, and I want you to know, and I want you to know, and, 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 and he expects his wife to be just a sex machine, yeah. just for purposes of sex. That's yeah. why you are married. Yeah. That is not the reason for marriage. Yeah. It is not the only, it's not the reason for marriage. Yeah. And I want you to know, and I yeah. want you to know, those, those people that, are, uh, that are, they don't, they, 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 you see your wife as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, a factory for work. For working, you working. Know, because, yeah, because one, one, there is a testimony of a guy who was planning for his marriage. Yeah. And, and, and three weeks, and, and one month before marriage, yeah. he said that from now, he's, he's no longer washing any clothes. Yeah. Because uh, the sister is coming. <laughs> mm -hmm. One month before getting married, he yeah. said, I, I will not, I will not, I will not, I will not do loudly again yeah. because she is coming yeah. after the wedding. Yeah. The first, all the backlog of the clothes, yeah. you take care of that. Yeah. Your wife is not, it's not a factory work. It's not a factory for work. Yeah. yeah she, she has she come to work. Yeah, she's not a slave master. Don't be a slave master yeah. husband yeah. and uh, <coughs> and treat your wife with honor and dignity. Yeah. And, 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 and marriage will be sweet. And marriage will be sweet. And it is. And it is sweet and it is good. Yeah. There may be strife and struggle. Yeah. There may be issues that you Absolutely. don't agree yeah. and so on. Yeah. But uh, at the back of your mind, yeah. become a human being. Yes. And come to yourself and ask yourself. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That is what I can, I, maybe I can Ephesians, say. Yeah. Ephesians yeah. 5.28. Mm -hmm. what, what does it say? Ephesians 5.28. It says, so ought men KJV. So ought men to love their wives as their mm. own bodies. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. Would you be a slave? Would you be a factory, a work factory? Mm -hmm. Yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you be a baby making machine yourself? The Bible says let's bring together. So ought men, so ought men, men to love, love their wives as their, their own bodies. He who loveth, he who loves, loveth his wife. Loveth. Loving his wife, loving himself. Yes. Whoever loving his wife, yes. loving himself. Yes. You can imagine. Yeah. I want you to know. Yeah. I want you to know that um, as a as a husband. Yeah. When we talk about uh, the slave master husband. Yeah. Don't become a slave master husband. Yeah. You can you can read for us number six. Oh, can I can read for you? Okay, let me, let me carry number six. Yeah, for me, for me. Okay, general husband. Uh, they're called general husband. Mm. A general husband, this one is not a good one either. <laughs> yeah. This is a man that believes that he should chase anything. Any, any woman. Anything and with a skirt. In yes. a skirt. Any woman you are chasing. Yeah. He, he has a chain of girlfriends. Concubine. Yes. Mistresses. Patronizes. Prostitutes, yeah. he is uncontrollable when it comes to sex. Yeah. He can sleep even with the house help and the, uh, and the wife relatives. And the wife relatives. I'm telling you. In Matthew like, chapter 5 and verse 28, it says, But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman 
with lustful intent, yes. has already committed adultery with her mm -hmm. in his heart. I'm telling you. So even before this man, mm -hmm. according to the Bible, is already wicked. He's an adulterer. And he's already wicked. He's already wicked. Mm -hmm. The general husband, if you're a general husband and listen to me and this is with you, I pray for you that the spirit may be broken over your life. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. At a point, God got so angry with David in the Bible, he sent a prophet. Mm -hmm. And when he sent that prophet, he was determined to kill David. God, uh, David was supposed, supposed to die. He was supposed to die. But God had mercy. Yeah, and when, when, when um, Nathan. Nathan was talking Nathan to him. The prophet, yeah. yeah. Nathan the prophet was talking to him and he told him, this is the example one, two, three. Whatever David would have said, mm -hmm. if David would not have confessed, mm -hmm. he would have been killed. And why? Adultery. He was the best warrior. He was the best king. Mm -hmm. he, he, built, he was going to build a temple. Mm -hmm. He had won many battles, mm -hmm. but he had a lustful eye. By the time he reached his wife, mm -hmm. um, Bathsheba, he had, he had Abigail. He had Abigail. He had his first wife. He had the Miko. Miko, the, 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 yeah. The wife of, uh, the daughter of King Saul. Of King Saul. And now, in David's case, it was real marriages, not like in Solomon's case. It, yeah. Solomon had a thousand wives, so you can say he just used to have Solomon had a wife for his the, 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 the prostitute, the display, the concubine. Yeah, but... It's 300 wives and 700 concubines. concubines. That is a thousand, that's a thousand, that's a thousand women around you. A but this general women. husband is a man who... Now, the wives of Solomon, I don't think they could say, that's my husband. They would just say, I'm a queen. I'm one of the queens. But the wives of David, they were saying, that's my husband. That's my husband, yeah. Micah loved David with all her heart. She, loved, she married him. Yeah. Abigail, as soon as her husband died, David. she followed him. But Sheba... Uh, also, but one of the things I can say on this, yeah. it may have a background problem. Yeah. It may have a background problem. You may come from a background that is of a polygamous nation. Yeah. I don't know when you talk about uh, polygamous mm. nation. It's important. Or you may come from a background where, uh, where, where during your initiation, during circumcision as a man, there are things you are taught as a man and they make you to believe that uh, you have a right over every woman that is allowed you. Yeah. And that is also, a, those are tradition. Yeah. When you look at the African tradition, the region, yeah. and you look at some of the African tradition and study, and even some of the tradition in the world, yeah. or the culture across the world, yeah. there is a lot of, there is a lot of, there is a lot of, um, there is a lot of, there is a lot of education. Yeah. There is a lot of, we cannot call it education, you can say, there is a lot of information yeah. that have been said to the young people yeah. and been said to the people yeah. to believe a man and a woman and tra trying to, to be this man from ethics and from, yeah. from ethics and from, uh, and, and from, um, a, 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 from a, pro, a point of display. Yeah. We need to fight the spirit of a, 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 a polygamous witchcraft. Yes. We need to also to look at the ethics or, or the, the what the what quality is a good man. Yeah. What is the biblical standing of a man yeah. that fear and serve the Lord. Yeah. And that is what we need to understand. Yeah. So that you can be able to fight. And I pray for us that if you come from a polygamous family, yeah. you also need still want to pray. Yeah. Some people say that when you are when you got and said that, that all curses were broken. Yeah. They may have been broken, but there are things that you need to still yeah. fight and face them, yeah. confront them, and deal with them. Yeah. You have to deal with them, or else they can destroy your life and destroy your marriage. But in the name of Jesus, any wife married to a general husband, mm -hmm. we are sending the power of the Holy Spirit yes. to come in and break that chain mm -hmm. in the name of, wherever it is from, from his foundation, Jesus. father and mother's house, circumcision, mm -hmm. even from the city he's staying, mm -hmm. we want to break it in the mighty name of Jesus. Name of every Jesus. woman married to a general husband, we are praying for you. And every man who's listening to us, yes. and he's a general husband, you know yourself, mm -hmm. you know what you have been going through. Yes. We enter in the spiritual realm. Yes. And we release you yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yes. We break the power yes. of ancestral spirit yes. holding you hostage yes. in an evil relation. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. We break the curse mm. of your mother's house yes. and the curse yes. of your father's house. Yes. We decree yes. that the power and the grace of God yes. shall be your portion. It's your portion. This is our prayer. Yes. And we release, yes. we release you yes. from every demonic bondage. Yes. In 
Jesus' name. Yes. So shall it be. Amen. We go to number seven. Number seven. Number seven, they are called dry husband. Hey. You, you better talk about them. I think you are better Christian. <laughs> talk to them. Just stop. Just stop. Um, a dry husband, this man is not romantic at all. Yeah. In Kenya, we have some different tribes. Mm. Mm. Outstanding in romances. We cannot mention tribe for the sake of the safety of marriages. <laughs> Just, just don't mention the tribe. Me, okay, there's mention, a certain mention, tribe. Me, mention, mention husband. A certain for, for tribe. The, for, the, for the safety, because they'll ask you which tribe are you. <laughs> but then there's the... But in all tribes, there yeah. are romantic men. Okay, you can say because that. Because that, 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 that one is in black and white. Okay. There are romantic men in all community and in all nations of the world. And there are others that are not romantic. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny. You cannot fight tribe. There is no form of intimacy with the wife. There are, there's no, there are no lines of love or anything. Mm -hmm. She cannot talk easily to him because of fear. Mm -hmm. He's not romantic, he's just got a structure. Mm -hmm. Have you eaten? Time to sleep. <laughs> ah, yes, you're smart. Mm -hmm. Let us go. Mm -hmm. I'm in the car. As bad as things are hot here. Do it for wait for Sunday. Uh, Wait for are you saying it? No, 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 no. Let's talk. This topic is very safe here. Yeah, let, this I, want topic. To, I want to stay here. Uh, yeah. I want to stay here. He displaces his wife in the presence of friends and mm -hmm. other people. Mm -hmm. This kind of man does not give any respect to his wife in any way. Mm -hmm. Husbands, you must admire right? your wives. Mm -hmm. Romance is just not romance. Romance builds up the wife's love. That is the language of, lo of love of a wife. Mm -hmm. So a dry husband does not have any form of intimacy mm -hmm. until the wife cannot easily talk to him. It's not you. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, you're romantic. I love you. Yeah. And you know I'm very romantic. So I pray for you wherever you are who is married to a dry husband. May God deliver you. <laughs> we pray for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah, that anything that he has learned, any school he has learned from, we are breaking that school mm -hmm. in the mighty name of Jesus. Some men are restricted because of upbringing, tough upbringing, mm -hmm. hard fathers, you know, hard discipline, hard mm -hmm. background, and so they find rom romance childish. Yeah. Or something that should not be in a marriage. You're a mature woman, so these mm -hmm. things don't happen. Yeah. I just want to pray for you in the name of Jesus. I tell you, it is godly, ungodly to be a dry husband. Mm -hmm. And I pray for him that if you're not able, the Spirit of God can change it. Mm -hmm. I want the pastor to pray for the men and I pray for the women. It's easier. You know, you can deal with it. I just want to say something here. Yeah. That uh, when it comes to intimacy, yeah. or when you when talk of romance, yeah. romance is not, romance, romance go beyond, beyond maybe buying on the gift and so on. Uh, romance is even the sweet talking. Just take your wife out and, and, and tell her, let's go, leave the children at home, leave every other person, take her somewhere out, yeah. take coffee together, and, yeah. and, and just listen to her and, and let her say what she has in her heart, romance or so. Like, uh, don't always, even the way, the, way, the, way, the, way, the way you dress your wife, don't dress her as a, as a grandmother. Yeah. Let, her be, let, let her be. When, when she becomes a grandmother, let her be grandmother. Yeah. But now that she's not a grandmother, yeah. she's still young yeah. to you. Yeah. Let her dress like a young girl. Wow, thank yeah. you. And the, the dress code and, yeah. the, and, the, and make her hair. Yeah. Let, 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 let her appear acceptable and appealing. Yeah. And don't be an insecure husband that when she becomes so beautiful, she will be stolen. She cannot be stolen. You already stole her. There's nobody else to steal her. You are the only. You are already stolen her. Yeah. So that there's nobody else stealing your wife. You, yeah. are, you already stole her from her parent, and she believes she followed you. Even it's a matter of stealing. And I want you to know, and I want you to know this, and I want to to share this for men that are listening to me. Maybe if, if me, I just want to. I want to. I want to speak instead of praying yeah. or decreeing this thing because I have prayed for this issue, and I want us to. I want to say to say something uh, in the interest of time that uh, that, uh, that that a uh, dry husband. Sometimes it's because of their background. Somebody say, you want me now to go kissing my wife when we have no food? And, 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 and I am almost losing my job. Yeah. So they, 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 they are lying. There are so many factors that people who look like. Yeah? Yeah. And, and, and now you start staying with your wife as if you are enemies. Yeah. And my wife is spending too much. All, all, I, I, this nobody appreciate me. And they say I am not romantic. Yeah. Romantic, you, you will be romantic. Yeah. You have to be romantic because it is so important yeah. for your marriage to work. Yeah. When when you are not romantic, your marriage will not work. Your marriage will work because you are 
romantic. Yeah. And I have come to you today yeah. as a man. Yeah. Get some good words for your wife. Yeah. Imagine. Get some, some words, just something. Proverbs 15 one says, mm -hmm. a soft answer hey. tan, turns away wrath. Mm -hmm. Even in marriage, in, yeah. a soft answer. Mm -hmm. Treat her softly. Treat her nicely. Mm -hmm. Don't be dry. Yes. Husbands in Ephesians 5.25, husbands love your wives, mm -hmm. even as Christ also loved the church. Mm -hmm. Don't be dry. Mm -hmm. Be romantic like my husband has said, mm -hmm. and I know God will do something for you. May the Lord remember every husband who is not romantic. Yeah. May the, uh, maybe you have even never taken a, a picture with your wife. You have never taken. You have taken a picture with your brothers. You have taken so many pictures in barrios. You have taken pictures in in, 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 in weddings. <laughs> you have taken pictures in the office with the with the CEO with every person. But you don't have a picture with your wife. You you, you don't have a picture with your own wife. It's your own wife. You are married more than two years now. Apart from the wedding pictures, if you did the wedding, and if you didn't do the wedding, you don't have any picture. With <laughs> you, and, you, and you are hanging the picture of your of your father and your mother in the in the room. There is no picture for you in your room. And, and, and I, I think romance has something to do with some something to do with uh, looking and valuing somebody and showing some, that person is important. Yeah. And, and, and she feel important in the house. In the, public, in the public, when you go with her, it's yeah. tell people, this is my wife, yeah. I love her. Or this is my wife. Yeah. I, I know people can take this on the other extreme. I don't want you to take it on the other extreme and say, and say this is the most beautiful woman in the whole world. Yeah. Uh, some people take it in the extreme. Yeah. But, and, and, and sometimes, and, and let us not be extreme, but better, let us be genuine. Yeah. Imagine you're talking, and I, I told you, I told you in the beginning that we, we, we are talking about about genuine gen, things that you cannot see in a genuine husband. Right, yeah. You cannot see them. Yeah. Because a genuine husband says, this is my wife. Yeah. She's beautiful and I love her. Yeah. And, uh, and, 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 and that is it. Yeah. That is it in the public. Yeah. Let people know it. Let people know it. Let people see it. Yeah. Let people get it and, and, and it will help you. And it is very important. Maybe I don't want us to take out of time yeah, because I, I can see want to ask I, I, I can I can see people number eight. We are supposed to go to number eight. I can see people. I can I can I can see time. My time is is, is, is always going up. Uh, this uh, this this are uh, number eight. Can you say for us number eight? Painkiller husband. The painkiller husband, <laughs> or the panado husband. Hey. They're called panado husband or the painkiller. Maramoja action. All those panado extra, <laughs> the panado or painkiller husband, the yeah. painkiller husband. Yeah. This is this it can be described as a painkiller husband. Yeah. This is a man who uses his wife yeah. to get things done in his life. Yeah. This is a man who look at a woman, marry her, become a wife, not because she want to be a husband or a husband to this wife. Yeah. It is because she want to use the, through this woman, yeah. she will get what she has been looking for. He, he will get what he has been looking for in life. Yeah. And this is these are people who want to use their wife so that they can get a work permit abroad. Yeah. You, you, you are anything you are paying. You want to you, get married to a woman abroad? You, 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 you want to marry a woman so that you can get a work permit. Yeah. You want to, you, you, in fact, they are called gold diggers. Yeah. You dig gold out of these people. Yeah. And they are exploiters. Yeah. They are, these people are exploiters. Yeah. And, 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 this, and, this, and another thing I want, you to, I, want you to know, I want you to know is that one, these people, they get what they have been looking from this woman. Yeah. The, the, the marriage end, that is the end of the marriage. They start complaining about this man. Even you are not beautiful. Yeah. Even you are not the person I, God intended me to marry. Yeah. And you can use any word. You can use any word. And I want you to know, I want you to know, in this life, it's very good for yourself to be genuine. Yeah. Just genuine without any manner of... Uh, don't become a painkiller husband yeah. or a panado husband. As in, you use your wife to soothe a certain pain for a short time. Uh, there is some you have a headache, you take her headaches. Yes. So you, you have, have a joblessness? Yeah, you take her. You your wife? Uh, she becomes the painkiller. Yeah, because of her. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. This one, will, this one will, will be the answer to my joblessness. Yeah. You take her yeah. and you get married her. You stay again, you, you divorce, you go to another one. You are looking for visa. you are looking for a visa to go and live yeah. a, a, abroad, yeah. and then you, you look for a person and say I've been looking for you for many years. Yes. Yeah, so you're the love of my life. Yeah. 
I'm just talking another panel, yeah. another painkiller, yeah. and that is it. Those are those are called painkiller pain husband. husband. Don't yeah. marry yeah. a painkiller husband. Yeah. And and it's good. And it's good. It is only that is very difficult to yeah. tell yeah. to tell people to ask the men. Yeah. As I get married to you, where are we going? Yeah. Where are we going? Yeah. Yeah. Where are we going? Where are you taking me? Yeah. Do you know where you are going? Yeah. Because you, if you follow somebody who doesn't know where he is going, yeah. you cannot get lost. Yes. Because wherever you are going is where you are supposed to go. Yeah. Whether you are going into destruction, whether you are going... You must have a sense of direction and, and destiny. Yeah. A sense of an, a place that you are heading. Yeah. You, you are headed. Anyway, anyway, in the interest of time, you go to number nine. Number nine is parasitic yeah. husband. You can read that one. Mm. The kind of man who sits at home, mm -hmm. watches TV, uh -huh. without a job, yes. or anything to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, in addition to feeding him, mm. yes, he just does, doesn't do anything in the house. Yeah? Mm. He, solely, he just does the things in the house. Yes. A good example, a parasitic husband, mm. yes, the woman parasite. does everything. He's a parasite. Yes. And one of the parasites that we were taught when we were in primary school, yeah. we were so thick. Yeah. Ticks are a parasite. They are parasites. They, they come on, uh, uh, they, 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 they tick, they bite the cow. Yeah. And they take the blood of the cow. Yes. But they don't contribute anything, anything to the cow. Yeah. They are parasitic husband. Yes. Parasitic husband. Yeah. They make sure they drain the wife. Yeah. And they, the wife go to work. Yes. Come watch, do laundry. Yes. Cook. Yes. Clean children. Yes. Know whether they go to school. Yeah. The man is the man is in the house. Yes. Watching television, Afro cinema continues shortly. Yes. They are watching uh, movies. Lying on the chair. Lying on the chair. Um, asking uh, asking for a cup of uji. Or is there any food in the house? Yeah. And they have been sleeping and there is nothing they are doing. Yeah. They are parasitic as well. Not that they cannot work. Not that they cannot cook. Not that they cannot help the, 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 the woman who is doing. They generally have, there is something terribly wrong. And, and that is a wrong quality. The, you cannot get this quality in a genuine husband. Mm -hmm. A genuine husband who will never kill her wife with a job and with work mm -hmm. and with the with, 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 with the court, with the yeah. chores. Yeah. House chores. As, mm -hmm. as they call house chores. Yeah. And she, 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 you will be able to uh, to 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 stand and help your wife. Mm -hmm. uh, the Ecclesiastes nine nine says, "Live joyfully mm -hmm. with the wife mm -hmm. whom thou lovest all the days of your life mm -hmm. of the humanity, which he hath given us under the sun." Mm -hmm. Husband loves your wife. You no. Know? Ecclesiastes nine nine. Nine nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest all the days of, la of the life of the, thy vanity, which he has given thee under the sun, all the days of thy vanity. For that is the portion in this life, and in thy labor, which thou takest under the sun. This is the husband. Mm -hmm. In thy labor, mm -hmm. a husband must be working. Mm -hmm. For him to live joyfully mm -hmm. with his wife, yeah. whom he loves, yeah. he must yeah. labor. Mm. You must work. I'm telling you. You can't be a household husband. Mm. You can't be a house husband. Mm. And in the event maybe you have you have lost a job, mm. or you have broken an arm, or you have lost a, a mm. maybe you, are, you you lost a limb, or something you cannot work for real. We are saying you are you are good. Yeah. Those, you're those, 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 those parasite husband. Yeah. Are, there is nothing you are doing before. Yeah. You are not doing anything. Yeah. And you, do, you are not intending to do anything. Yes. It's like now you, you can do nothing. Yes. You can do nothing. You just there and your work is to exploit the woman. And yes. even your wife know this man is exploiting me. Yeah. But I landed in his heart. Yeah. You need the grace of God. Yeah. You will need the grace and the favor of God. Yes. And I pray for you. Yes. Any parasitic, parasitic husband. Yes. That the power of God will turn around your yes. life. Bring and the back. spirit of laziness. And the spirit of desperation. Yeah. Any, any power that is holding you from moving out and doing something. Yes. It shall be broken. Amen. Any manner of helplessness yes. shall come to an end. Yeah. In the name of the Lord. I bless you wherever you are. Amen. I speak the river of God. I pray for men that are listening to me Amen. and they have nothing to do today. And, 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 and you have felt that you are discouraged, you cannot continue. I come, I, I come against that power behind your, behind your desperation yes. and I command it to release your life. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to go to number 10. Yes. Hey, yes. this yes. one we shall talk. Listen to me wherever you are now. Yes. Those that were, uh, you, you, have, you, have, you wanted to leave, don't leave. This is, the, this is what you have been waiting for. Yes. 10 qualities of, hus of, a, of quality that you cannot find in a genuine husband. And the number 10 quality is they are called baby husbands. Husbands. baby husband. Baby husband. Yes. Hey. Oh. Hey. Baby husband. Yeah. Wherever they are, yeah. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you in Jesus' name. Yeah. These are men who reject food. Yeah. Because they are angry. Oh. You reject food. Yeah. You come home and you say, I will not eat. Yes. You are so angry with your wife or you are so angry with some conversation yeah. and you refuse to eat. You refuse to eat because you are a baby husband. You have said it. Yes. <laughs> you are a baby husband. Yeah. They, they, they keep malice and are never influenced by their wives. Yeah. They keep malice. Why? They, they, they are they are, they are angry. Yeah. They they feel, they feel so bad. Mm. They, they want to sh they, they want a showdown yeah. between them and the wife. Yeah. It's like you are you are in a competition. Yeah. There is no competition in marriage. Yeah. You are already the head of the house. Yeah. Why are you competing? Yeah. Why do you remind people? Do you know I am the old, I am the husband here? Yeah. We know it is only you who have forgotten. That is why you are you are going to remind yourself. I, I, I want you to I want you to I, I want you to say this. I want you to say this. Baby husband, wherever you are, a baby husband compare his wife with a former girlfriend. Yeah. A baby husband who compare. You are not even like so and so. Yeah. I wish I could have married so and so. <laughs> that is a baby husband talking. Yeah. Those are the words a baby husband will talk, yeah. and they are and they are very irritating. Her baby husband are very 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 irritating to yeah. be around. And they are complaining. Sometimes you can see people coming and complaining about their wife. They yeah. complain until you ask. Is, does that wife have something, at least one? Yes. At least one good thing that you can look at it and, 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 and be able to dwell on. Yeah. Baby husband are always complaining. And, um, and I've told you, uh, when, you call, when you call a baby husband, you can't be sure where he is. You can't be sure. You don't know even when you come home. <laughs> a baby husband cannot come home. Yeah. Sometimes you can miss, you can, you can, you can, you can miss, you can miss, you can miss, you can miss your, you can miss your, uh, your, your husband, uh, and he can go for, uh, he can go and he doesn't come, and he doesn't want to be asked where he was, yeah. and for three days you cannot see him. Yeah. Mm. And, I, and I say this, I, I say this. One day I was talking to a man, and I will not mention his name, and I talk, I sat down with him and I asked him, if across three people, yeah, when he leave, when that people leave school, yeah. he goes straight home. Yeah. You are now married. Yeah. You have a wife and children. Yes. And when you come out of the place of your work, yeah. you, cannot, you cannot go home. Mm -hmm. People, the whole village must look for you. There is something terrible wrong. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yes. Because a class, three, a class three people will go home. Even grade one. Yeah. A grade one pick the books and go home. And a husband is not able to go home. The, the, the people are worried whether you died or you are arrested by police. The, the, the wife is, is more, the, the, wife is, the wife cares for you more than she cares for the mm. children. Because children will come home, but the husband will not come home. Imagine, who is the baby there? Mm. And that's why we are coming with the what we, we, we have come with this, uh, of the issue of the baby husband. It should be wrong for your wife not to know whether you come home. If you are married, it, it is wrong. You are not, it, it is not so. It should not be so, no matter what. You should tell her, I am somewhere, I will come by this time. And you come this time. There is no way your wife will leave the door, leave the door open. I was talking to somebody and I was trying to talk to somebody and told me that the husband has instructed that the door should not be closed. And that area has, it's not a very safe area. Uh, and, 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 and she uh, 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 and the husband comes sometime at three in the morning, and now the wife cannot sleep, listening whether the, wife, the husband has come. And this is this is all baby husband they have a problem, and they cannot be. A baby husband will report his wife to the parent, to the tenant, and call the woman of all sorts of names. You, you call even tenant and neighbors and other people they know. A baby husband who will tell people, I don't understand what is wrong with my wife. That is what a, a baby husband would say. Mm. I thank God God has delivered me. 
May God help me. Amen. Yeah. I'll be the husband. Yeah. One time, one time, I will never forget this because I had to call this man and talk to him. Because this man, the daughter, the, the son, has has competed for four, passed to go to the university. The man go and pick the result for the exam. The man discuss with the mother at home and decide the university and, uh, 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 and tell the mother where the university that the son has been called and plan to take the child to the university without telling the wife. It is so shocking mm. that even the sofa set they sit mm. on at home, the mother was involved to choose mm -hmm. and the wife was not aware. Yes. That is a baby husband. Yeah. A baby husband will receive more instruction. Yes. I don't know, you can say something. Before. Loves the mother more. Yeah, you love the mother. She, she, she loves the mother more uh, than the. She, you love the mother more than the, 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 the than your wife. You love your mother more than the, the mother. The mother. Your mother more than your wife. And, and you are very critical, critical. And you hate apologies. Mm -hmm. A baby husband. I pray for you yes. that you will not be a baby husband. I I speak to every girl that is listening to me. Yeah. Do not be married by a baby husband. Yes. If you are married by a baby husband, yes. you will cry many days of your life. Yeah. And I, you want to say something? First Corinthians yeah. fourteen twenty. First Corinthians fourteen. As we close and we summarize, First yeah. Corinthians fourteen yeah. twenty. We are coming to close. baby husband. I pray for you mm -hmm. that you are not married to a baby husband. Yes. And we break every baby mm -hmm. connotation to your husband in Jesus' name. And it's good for you to receive understanding first. Mm -hmm. the, 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 what your husband is fighting for it with mm -hmm. and break it. Let's read together. Brethren, do not be children in understanding. Yes. However, in marriage, be babies. But in understanding, be mature. Let's do KJV. Mm -hmm. KJV, let's go. Brothers. Mm -hmm. it, says, it says brethren again. It's a scripture. The one it says brothers. N I V. N I V. Okay. Brothers, mm. stop thinking like children. Yeah. In regard to evil, be, be infants. Evil. But in your thinking, be adults. adults. Wow. Yes. Baby husbands. Baby husband. Ten types, qualities. Yeah. Of husband, you should avoid. You should avoid. And if you're a husband like that, you'll be prayed for today. We are going to pray. Yeah. Mm. I pray for you. You yes. can pray. pray for the women and then I pray for the husband. Okay. Yeah, just pray. 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 Oh, oh. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. Lord Jesus, we thank you and we bless you. Mm -hmm. We want to pray for every woman in the mm -hmm. name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You might be in a situation where you are facing a baby husband. Mm -hmm. We want to break it in the name of Jesus from wherever. Yes. Wherever it is from, whatever is following the husbands we have mentioned, all ten of them, mm. from their mother or their father's houses, mm. we want to break it in the name of Jesus. Yes. We want to pray for supernatural understanding yes. upon you, yes. resilience, yes. and patience, yes. and God's guidance yes. for you as we go forward yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. That indeed God, the Holy Spirit, may fall upon your husband in Jesus name. and you may receive a change. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we want to thank you for that opportunity that you have given us to share your word. Lord, we want to thank you for the men that are married today, and even those that are planning to get married. There are so many teaching, there are so many culture, there are so many custom and beliefs of men that hinder people from becoming mature and make decisions that are very carried sound and that are, that are acceptable in a society of the days that we are living. We cover every man that is listening to this podcast that their life will experience a transformation. As I pray as your servant, dear Lord, I cancel every spirit that causes men not to mature, that causes men to forget who they are. And Lord, I decree that your heart is upon every man that is listening to us. And in the name of Jesus, we declare that marriages shall receive restoration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So shall it be. Amen and amen. What an, what an opportunity that God has given us together to share about the ten qualities 
of, of uh, that you will never find in a genuine husband. Mm -hmm. You have our blessing. We want yes. to bless the Lord with our offering. We want to come to the cross of the service. Maybe, and I, and I say it in the morning in, my, in my, our daily dominion, I, I said in the morning and I said it is important for you to learn. Uh, it is important for you to learn uh, to serve God and to sacrifice mm -hmm. for, for, for being a child in the kingdom of yes, God. Yes. I give you an opportunity to serve God with your offering mm -hmm. and to pay your tithe and to, and, to, and to honor God mm -hmm. sacrificially. And you can even trust God for your life. Trusting God that God, I want to trust you for my life. Mm -hmm. And I am coming to you knowing that you are my God. Mm -hmm. I want to pray for you. I want, I want, I want us to, 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 pay our, uh, to give our offering and pay our time. Our till number is on the screen. Our till number is on the screen. Our, um, our, our, our PayPal account is on the screen. And all is well to the glory of God. May the Lord bless you as you give. May the Lord bless you as you serve him. You will never go down. May you be blessed Amen. from the top of your head to the top of your feet. Yes. Remember, at midnight, yes. we are meeting. Reverend is here, Amen. waiting to meet with you yes. in, the, in, in the midnight. Thank yes. you for the testimonies from all over, mm. for the people that have received miracles yes. and the people that have connected with this teaching. Yes. We continue preaching, yes. teaching, yes. and moving forward yes. by faith. Yeah. It shall be well. Yeah. You are blessed. Yes. See you Amen. at midnight. Amen.